Hi, I'm Christian Brindle, and welcome to the Everything Medicare Podcast. What's up, everything, Medicare, Podcast Nation? This is Christian Brindle, wherever you are and however you might be listening to me today. Thank you so much for taking the time. This is episode 220. If this is your first time listening in, my name is Christian Brindle. I host this podcast. Me and my company do, that is. Um, Where every single week we bring you a podcast episode on Mondays where we discuss your Medicare, your Medicaid, your Social Security, and everything that has to do with that golden age called retirement. And folks, we're officially a week away from October 1st. October 1st is when all of the benefits are um, being made available and made public to everybody in terms of Medicare Advantage plans and Medicare Part D prescription drug plans going into the next year in January 1st of 2020, which when these benefits will take place. And I wanted to start off the show today by talking about something that's got me really fired up. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS for short, let the largest organizations, and I'm not talking about, you know, insurance companies, I'm talking about because they're very, you know, have a keen eye on the insurance companies. I think they do a good job of policing those, but they allow the largest companies to really get away with murder in terms of their advertising. You may have already seen a lot of um, blatant advertising going on on the television, maybe um, in mailings, maybe it's on radio, whatever the case might be. And it's their right to market. It's their right to advertise. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with capitalism. But what I have a problem with is advertising in such a way that it's misleading and you know it's misleading, but you do it anyway because you know it gets people to contact you at a higher rate. I've, and and a lot of the biggest um, companies out there, and I don't mean insurance companies, I mean insurance brokerages that basically run call centers, and I'm not saying that all call centers are bad. I have some friends that run some fantastic call centers, and they do a really good job, and they have a great organization where they're actually trying to help people. But I think some of the bar- biggest organizations were able to build their status and get to where they are because they are essentially building their business on the back of a bait-and-switch business model. And I'll explain what I mean by that. But do do any of you that are listening today actually know that Webster's definition of bait and switch? I'll read it to you. Um, Bait and switch is a form of fraud used in retail sales but also other businesses and not also limited to retail contexts. First customers are baited by merchants through advertising products and services at a low price or potentially a better deal than what they really are, knowing that the product or good or service is not what they intended it to come across as in the advertisement. That's the Webster's definition or a di- or a dictionary definition, if you will, of bait and switch. These commercials do just that. They advertise benefits on a nationwide scale, fully knowing that you may not, they're not going to be apparent to have them everywhere. And they get away with it because they put this little tiny disclaimer on the screen where they essentially are saying, you know, a little tiny disclaimer that says, these benefits are not available everywhere, may not be available in your area. But they, but, but they, uh, they completely know that 99% of people that watch the commercial do will not read that. And they're going to pick up the phone anyway and call. They advertise benefits like getting $144 back in your Social Security check. Sounds good, right? What that is and what they're, they're, they're basically um, advertising it as free money, which is against Medicare regulations. Um, certain Medicare Advantage plans in certain areas can reimburse you a portion of your Social Security check back into your Social Security. A portion of your Medicare Part B premium. The Medicare Part B premium is $144.60 this year in 2020. Usually, in most areas, this is not an available benefit. And on most areas that it is an available benefit, it's 30 bucks a month of it, 40, 50. Some areas, there's 100, 120. The highest I've seen is 130, personally. 
but they advertise it and say you could get up to $144 back when a majority of places don't even have that benefit available, but they, they run the commercial nationwide. And they know this. They want people to pick up the phone and call so one of their snake oil salesmen can throw you on a plan and say whatever it takes to get you to say yes. They lie about benefits for the most part. I had a client of mine. He's 88 years old. Um, he has very early stages. I think it's pretty advanced stages of dementia. His children are having a hard time keeping up with everything that he's doing. He sees this commercial. He calls in. They tell him that if he changes from the Medicare Advantage plan that we have him on to a different Medicare Advantage plan, which I also represent. I represent them all in my home state of Utah, and he lives in Utah. Um, that he will get switched over to his Medicare Advantage plan, and his hospital copays will be zero. His specialist copays will be zero. Everything will be zero. And they'll, they'll do everything. They're just basically trying to say anything they need to. They're lying. They're blatantly lying. They know they're never going to talk to him again. They're just trying to get a sale. And they change him over to a plan that doesn't cover half of his doctors and his co-pays. Not only are they zero, they're more than what they were before. I don't know how they were able to change him. He didn't qualify for a special enrollment period and it was outside of open enrollment. Um, so they probably used some sneaky tactic that was against the law to change his plan. But they did it. Um, and now he's stuck on that plan till open enrollment. There's nothing we can do for him. He has a heart doctor. He sees every month. Can't see that heart doctor anymore. He's very upset. These are the kind of things that happen when you call these TV commercials. Run away, folks. Use your head. Use your brain. A new tactic that they're doing that I found kind of amusing is they're, they're, do, they're leaving voicemails that are pre-recorded messages. And I'm actually going to play one for you that they called and left on my dad's voicemail. I'm going to show you how sneaky and how slimy some of these people really are. Got to be careful this open enrollment period. I'm making this episode as a warning. The madness will start next week. You need to be telling every single person you know, every single person you know, to watch out for some of these tactics because it's very easy to get fooled. And once December 7th comes and goes, remember, the open enrollment period for people on Medicare is October 15th through December 7th. Once December 7th comes and goes, you are stuck on your plan. You can't make any changes. Now, you can change in January, from January 1st to March 31st, thank goodness. But these people aren't thinking about that. I've taken a quick break um, here from this week's sponsor. When we come back, I will play for you uh, the recording of that um, of that message that they placed on my dad's um, cell phone. And it's so cringy when you hear it. Um, we'll play it for you when we come back from this break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for sticking with me through that break. Um, as promised, here is the... Okay, so basically, from my understanding, this is a company that is making mass calls in bundles, and they're leaving voicemails on people's answering machines. This is something you need to be careful for, right? Everybody wants to get a piece of you. And some people are actually in it to, to actually help you, but you have to watch out for these snakes out there. And this strikes me as a snaky company. Let's just get right into this. All right, all right, so I am going to repeat that from the beginning, okay? So. Hello, hello, this is Haley calling to welcome you to the Medicare Rewards family. With your new Medicare Rewards membership, be prepared to save up to 75% on services not covered by Medicare, like prescriptions, dental, and vision. Additionally, you can save hundreds, even thousands a year when you complete our free Medicare insurance analysis. This 10-minute insurance analysis will show you ways you could be saving on Medicare costs, as well as ways you can optimize the benefits you are already eligible for. Unfortunately, your free analysis is only available for the next five days, so it is important that you call me back at 833-748-0891 as soon as possible so you can start saving. Again, my name is Haley, and that number is 833-748-0891. I look forward to hearing from you. 
So, a lot to unpack there. Um, first things first, what they're doing cannot be compliant. It can't be. It can't be, be compliant. Um, if you're listening to this and you're in a place of power and you can basically turn these organization in, I encourage you to do it. I would do it if I had more time. If I didn't have, if I didn't have anything better to do, um, but I think the best thing I can do is just warn you about it. First things first, let's let's unpack this. My father, my dad, is a sixty-five and up year old who is a Medicare agent. He did not sign up for any Medicare reward program. He has a Medicare Advantage plan that he put himself on, and they're making it sound like, oh, you thank you for signing up for this thing. Um, and uh, you have five days to claim your prize almost. That's kind of, and they're trying to draw you in is what they're doing. None of these people signed up for jack shit with this organization. I guarantee you, this is one of the slimiest, slimiest, most dishonest, preying on seniors that may not, um, may, may, they're, they're thinking maybe this person might not remember and they'll call in thinking maybe they did sign up for something. It's the slimiest, most dishonest, um, snakiest form of Medicare advertising I have ever seen. And um, those people should be ashamed of themselves. They're, they're, they're targeting and preying on seniors. And I think that's sick. Um, and you're going to see a lot of that, unfortunately, this upcoming moment enrollment period. And they do it quote unquote legally, even though it violates um, rules that they set for little guys like me. Not that I would do it even if it was a you know, for the rules. The, the the commercials are incredibly misleading. Let's just call it like it is. They're incredibly misleading. They put information out there that suggests that you can get a benefit that you probably can't or you just can't in your area. They take a benefit that's available in Florida, and they'll run a commercial to advertise it in Idaho. Don't be fooled this open enrollment period. If you've been listening to what we bring to the table and if you listen to our show week in and week out, you know better. You're smarter than this crap. And um, our job is to, you know, stand from the mountaintops and yell as loud as I can and warn as many people so they don't get taken advantage of by these, these horrific advertising. I don't know how they get away with it. I personally don't, but be prepared. You're going to see a lot of stuff. Everybody's going to want to get a piece of you. Everybody's going to want to be your best friend for the next, I don't know, nine weeks, 10 weeks, something like that, however long this is going to go. And we can't help everybody in our organization. We just can't. There's too many people on Medicare. There's tens of millions of people on Medicare. We can't help everybody, but we're going to help as many people as we possibly can. We always make a recommendation that's going to be the best thing for people. Folks, um, I really appreciate you taking the time to listen. We're going to be bringing you episodes all throughout Open Enrollment every Monday. We will not waver. So I'm really, really excited about that. Um, and anybody that's been listening to us this year, thank you so much for your support. I mean, the podcast has grown so exponentially. Um, we felt like we could scale it back. We were doing three episodes a week all throughout the year. We were able to scale it back and only do one episode a week. Um, and our numbers have been as big as ever, and we have you to thank for that. We have the best audience in podcast land. Um, and as always, you know, if you live in one of the, the 12 states that we're licensed to do business in, those states are as follows, Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Oregon, Washington, California, Texas, Virginia, West Virginia, South Carolina, Alabama, Florida. Hope I didn't miss any there. Um, our number is 801-255-5340, 801-255-5340. And um, we're excited to be able to talk with you, but even if you're in a state that we're not licensed to work with you in, be very, very careful this open enrollment period. The... The, um, the 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 sliminess of these these companies, and and don't and let's not let's not kid ourselves. A lot of these companies are backed by Wall Street dollars, and so they're putting they have a lot of pressure put on them to deliver 
money, to deliver a lot of money. And that's why they're pushing you so hard and they'll say anything it takes to change you to a plan, even if it's not in your best interest. They'll put you on a plan that doesn't cover your prescriptions, doesn't cover your doctors, and you'll be stuck on it. And it will be the worst possible situation for you to be in. And they don't give a damn about it. These are the people that you're dealing with. These are the people that are running a lot of the commercials. Be careful. I might get in trouble for saying what I'm saying. I don't care. Somebody's got to stick up for seniors. Somebody. Nobody else will. Be careful this open enrollment period. We'll be back with you with another episode next Monday. We'll be in the heart of October. Very, very excited about it. Um, happy end of September. Have a great week. Take care. Ciao.